Assassin's Creed Mirage for PlayStation, Xbox, PC and more. Assassin's Creed Mirage Platforms and Release Window Ubisoft has confirmed that Assassin's Creed Mirage will release in 2023, although the publisher is yet to confirm an exact date. Assassin's Creed Mirage platforms have been confirmed as PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, and Xbox One. Ubisoft has also confirmed that Assassin's Creed Mirage will be released on PC through the Ubisoft Store and Epic Games Store. What is Assassin's Creed Mirage? Assassin's Creed Mirage is a back-to-basics approach for the long-running series, with Ubisoft returning to the stealth action, narrative-driven routes that defined Altair and Ezio's earliest adventures. Assassin's Creed Mirage is set in Baghdad and will show the evolution of Basim a few decades before his appearance in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The game will center on a young assassin named Basim ibn Ishaq, a character players will know and love from Valhalla. Mirage will reportedly taking control of the character in his youth. His journey will see him begin as a thief before he is eventually found and brought in by the Hidden Ones. The latest string of leaks for the upcoming game also tease that the narrative will be inspired by the Prince of Persia. Thankfully, Mirage is supposedly going to be set in an equally beautiful part of the world. Such a location should introduce some fantastic stealth opportunities and hopefully some beautiful scenery to match. Assassin's Creed Mirage Editions There will be three Assassin's Creed Mirage Editions available at launch. The Standard Edition will cost $50-Euro50, the Deluxe Edition, which includes DLC inspired by Prince of Persia, will be priced at $60-Euro60, and the Limited Collector's Case, which includes a 32cm Basim figurine, Map of Baghdad, Exclusive Steelbook, and more will run you $150-Euro150. If you get your Assassin's Creed Mirage pre-order locked in now you'll get exclusive access to a 40 Thieves side quest. Assassin's Creed Mirage, Release Date and Platforms Assassin's Creed Mirage is coming in 2023, though we don't have a specific release date just yet. Ubisoft confirmed the game's existence and release window following a ton of leaks around the upcoming title. In terms of platforms, Ubisoft has confirmed that Mirage will be a cross-generation release. As such, expect to see it on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, PC, and cloud streaming service Amazon Luna. There's unfortunately no free upgrade between generations, but it's also cheaper than recent big releases launching for £49.99-£39.99 RRP. We may see a Nintendo Switch release, given Assassin's Creed Odyssey came to the handheld hybrid via cloud streaming. It's worth noting that was limited to the Japanese market, so we can't say for certain one way or the other. Assassin's Creed Mirage, Gameplay and Setting Assassin's Creed Mirage is taking the series back to basics, set in Baghdad 20 years before Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Basim ibn Ishaq, who was introduced in Valhalla, takes center stage. According to reports, Mirage began as a Valhalla spin-off before escalating into its own fully-fledged entry. Basim is part of the first Assassin Brotherhood, and Mirage takes us on one of his earlier adventures. Here, he's being taught by Roshan, a Persian assassin, portrayed by Shora Agdashlu. Rather than the open-world RPG gameplay of more recent years, Assassin's Creed Mirage focuses on stealth and parkour once again. As such, expect a smaller experience overall, likely around 15 to 20 hours. When asked about the game's length in an IGN interview, executive producer Mark Alexis Coty said, not everything has to be a 150-hour RPG, right? Confirming. It is a smaller Assassin's Creed project. This was conceived and built to celebrate the 15th anniversary. So that's why we're using our modern Valhalla engine to build a smaller game that pays tribute to our original game by focusing more on stealth, on close-quarter combat, on parkour, and a denser city that goes back to our roots in the Middle East with Baghdad as the centerpiece.
While we've yet to see gameplay, Ubisoft has confirmed that Baghdad is the only city in the game, split into four zones, though we're also visiting Alamut. Each one contains a boss ready to be thwarted, but it's unclear how that unfolds in game progression. What we do know, according to narrative director Sarah Beaulieu, is that this story will include various historical figures. As for how you'll navigate Baghdad, lead producer on Assassin's Creed Mirage Fabian Salomon said in an interview with Arab Hardware that Mirage's parkour will take some inspiration from the mechanics in Assassin's Creed Unity. We are seriously trying to reach this level with Mirage, and since Baghdad is dense as I mentioned, we want the players to enjoy their time in the city through parkour, which was and still is one of the important pillars that we depended on in the style of playing with Assassin's Creed Mirage. One of the best aspects of Assassin's Creed games are the locations and time periods. They bring you back to a beautiful part of the world in a time many have only seen relics of. It then lets you explore and live the lives of these deadly assassins in that stunning location. Mirage is rumored to be set in Baghdad during the years 870 to 860 BCE during the Anarchy of Samara. The devs have confirmed that the city of Baghdad will be separated into four different districts. The only location the game will include other than the city is Alamut, the fortress headquarters of the Hidden Ones. In fact, as part of going back to the series' roots, Salomon said Mirage will take inspiration from other early titles. This includes the return of assassination contracts from Assassin's Creed II and Brotherhood. He does also, however, mention new and different opportunities to interact with the environment in Baghdad, including new mechanics in hiding and in assassination among crowds.